What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody Smith here for another absolute football opening. Yes, I have jumped on the grenade. I have fallen on the sword. I have kicked myself in the balls. And we are back for some more. Now, we have Walmart Absolute Football. We have Target Absolute Football. We've opened two of each so far and have gotten pretty much nothing. Four mega boxes. They say one autograph or one mem card. I'm not believing this. We we're 0 for 4. If we go 0 for 6, that's going to be really, really bad luck. Um, we already know what we're looking for, kabooms. We're looking for uh, explosives as well. Now, here's the thing with Absolute, though. I've had an absolute awful time opening this product, and I'm absolutely done opening Absolute. I bought two blasters <laughs> from 2022. <laughs> Now these two blasters almost equal one of these mega boxes. So today's video, we're going to test and see, is 2023 just an absolute terrible product of Absolute? Or is Absolute just absolutely trash no matter what year you are? And to be fair, or to be completely honest, the reason why we're doing this, I, I, I just can't open Absolute anymore. So we're getting rid of all the Absolute we have in the house. I'm getting, Getting it completely out of my eyesight. I don't have to see it anymore. I don't have to smell it. Kelsey doesn't have to look at it anymore. We can get back to ripping the stuff that we actually enjoy. I mean, I enjoy ripping it. So I'm gonna, I, I was maybe a little petty, a little sad in the other videos. But, um, you know, it's sometimes fun. We're going we're gonna to split stack. We're split stacking. Hopefully, we're going to start left, and uh, we're going to see what we can pull today. Appreciate it. If you guys are new here, thank you so much for checking out the channel. Me, my wife, and my buddy Sage over in Vegas, we rip all sorts of different types of packs. We would love it if you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Definitely like the video too. That helps us out a whole lot. We put all the money that we make off of the cards on eBay and off the money that we make here on a YouTube AdSense right back into buying more products to rip for you guys. All right, here we go. We are opening, I completely forgot what we're doing. We're doing Walmart, I guess, first. Yes, Walmart, here we go. We're looking for black parallels. That's how we know it's the Walmart. It's the black ones, and trust me, it will jump out at you. You'll know exactly when you see it. Nolan Smith, Zach Charbonnet, and there it is. Look at that, black Robert Woods. Uh, we're gonna go right side now. At least I've gotten a lot of practice opening packs. Uh, Deontay Foreman here. Kyler Murray. Marquez. Scantley. Devontae Smith. We have a Cam Smith on the rookie for the Dolphins. Tajay Spears for the Titans. And a black Jalen Waddell. I wonder if there's anything... We'll have to check the box. If there's anything new that you can hit in 2022 blasters that you can't hit now. We got Sam LaPorta, first one, by Storm uh, Jaden Reed, I love those cards. And a Stevenson on the black. Autographs and mem, mem cards, you can hit autos in the blaster. I don't think you can hit autos in the blaster from 2023. But it looks like they do have autos and mem cards, potential hits. In the blasters from 2022. All right, moving forward. I mean, with kind of what we've pulled so far, I think we almost would have been better off buying just a hobby box of this product. No, Justin Fields, Overshone, Ivan Pace Jr., and a Marvin Mims black. And we'll sleeve up Marvin Mims. Respect the rookies. Respect the rookies. All right, we're down to our final two packs. This feels thick, so that probably means it's our Mim card. No shot they actually gave us an auto. Why would they? Garrett Wilson, James Conner, Patrick Mahomes. There we go, CJ Stroud. We'll get excited every time we pull that guy. Brian Breesey. Ooh, a Fran. I love pulling Fran. 
only product that I've been able to pull Fran and a Javante Williams on the black. That's how you know you have a uh, an interesting product on your hand is when you pull a base CJ Stroud and it's just like, it's like well, that's, that's pretty much the best you can do at this product is just pull a bunch of base Strouds and base Pukas and Anthony Richardson, which I haven't seen Anthony Richardson in this product in a hot minute. Drake London, Jared Goff, Chase Brown. We have a Devontae Wicks. And there is our Mim card. On the back, we are going to have a Garrett Williams on the black. And our Mim card is going to be Hardman. This guy actually uh, got the game winning. Did he not? Was this the guy that caught the game winning touchdown? All right. He was the one I think that said he blacked out, right? They're like, what, what were you thinking when you caught the game winning touchdown? He's like, I, I honestly blacked out. I also don't think he knew that that was the game winning touchdown by his reaction. There was a lot of people that were confused, myself included with the Super Bowl and how it all played out. I was thinking to myself, holy cow, the Chiefs are just going to let the clock run out and they're going to lose. What are they doing? But clearly I had no idea what I was doing and that's why I sit on the couch. Is this another Mim? Wow. Six for six Mim cards, <clears throat> no autos. I don't, I don't know, man. Three from target, three, uh, three from target, three from Walmart, tough. Tough scene. It is a Zach Charbonnet. It is a rookie. And these honestly are probably the best Mim cards. We pulled a uh, Rasheed Rice, I think, with Kelsey out of one of the blasters. And it, it sold pretty good on the um it sold pretty good on our eBay. So this is probably the best Mim card you can get. Um right there. So Rookie Force, Zach Charbonnet. No auto, still kind of sad. I really wanted to kind of see. We didn't even finish the rest of that pack. That's how that's how out of it this product makes me, guys. Is I didn't even finish the rest of the pack. So Mario Douglas, Michael Mayer, and a Pacheco. Uh, we had a Kenneth Walker on the bronze. Hey, we had my guy, Trey Tucker. Trey Tucker on the bronze as well. All right. A little double. They said, hey, we're not going to give you autographs, but we'll give you two bronze parallels. Take it, I guess, with absolute, right? Take whatever they give you. All right. Aaron Jones, Derek Carr, Traylon Burks, Darnell Washington, Deuce Vaughn from the Cowboys. Backwards card, Odell Beckham, and a Blackman on the bronze. And the Beckman, ooh, is this numbered? It is. Look at that, our first number card out of 499. This is gonna be the red squares, I believe. Red squares out of 499 on Odell. And this is our first numbered card hit out of six mega boxes. And this is gonna be the red squares. Yes, red squares, rookie, uh, not rookie. Oh, it doesn't matter, yeah. Numbered out of 499. All right. Sam Laporta, we're dropping you down for Odell front and center. Sick. We got a numbered card. One numbered card out of six mega boxes. Seems like a deal to me. Joe Mixon, DJ Moore, there's a Brock Purdy, a Will Anderson Jr., Nolan Smith, AJ Brown on the stargazing. These are kind of cool. And a Jonathan Taylor from the Colts on the Browns. We got two more, and then we are moving to 2022. Get rid of Bijan on the cover. Give me Russell. Hodgins, Sanders from the Panthers, a Trevor Lawrence, Thule, an A-Chan, 
And a Travis Kelsey on the bronze. All right. Did I just spike a kid reporter? I did. I just spiked a kid reporter. Travis Kelsey singing Love Story to Taylor Swift. How sweet. How incredibly sweet. And we will respect the rookies there. All right. Moving on. We've got three decent pulls, one being a base CJ Stroud. That is what we're dealing with here. Final pack of 2023 Absolute Football. Let's all give a quick RIP in the chat to 2023 Absolute Football. Never again. Maybe, maybe a couple years from now, I'll forget how bad this was. And I'll see it like for super discounted on the on the shelves and I'll be an idiot and, I, and I'll buy it because I'm because I'm an absolute idiot. All right, we're gonna get this out of the way to get ready for 2022 two absolute blasters. And I'm sure it's gonna be absolute fire coming from 2022. No shot, these aren't going to be money. I don't even think these were on sale. I don't know why I bought these. This, was, this might have just been an impulse buy at Dick's Sporting Goods online. I probably was on there to buy something else and I saw these and I was like, all right, yeah, give me two, why not? So look for autographs, mem cards from the hottest players in the NFL. We're gonna have 11, card pack, 11 cards per pack, six packs. We are looking for the kabooms and the explosives. We get green parallels. Can't wait to see those. And we do have some numbered cards on the back potential. So it looks very, very similar to what we have just been doing. Three and three, and away we go. Ooh, interesting. Hmm, I don't think I like this design nearly as much. Trey Lance, uh, also very hard to read. I'm going to skip a lot of these names. There's Mac Jones, uh, Matt Ryan, and we get to Garrett Wilson here. Or no, that's Sauce. Excuse me. Sauce, Logan Hall. Gosh, these are hard to read. Taylor, and there is the green, just as bad, if not worse. And the by Storm, hmm, what do you guys think? I like, I like 2023's by Storm more actually i don't think those look nearly as cool i think they did a better job 2023 with the by storms still i mean still a cool looking insert but not nearly as cool there's aaron Rodgers, micah aj brown kelsey we get to our rookies here gosh these are gonna be hard for me to read boys i am sorry andrew booth jr matt coral and we have a Debo Samuel, followed by a stargazing Cooper Cup. All right, nothing, uh, nothing really electric so far. I will say they definitely made the names a lot harder to read, and also I'm not familiar. Ooh, uh, we get a mem card. We get a mem card. I almost pulled it right out. Donald Trubisky, Lamar Jackson. We have a Kenny Pickett rookie. rookie. All right. That could be worth a dollar. Um, is that Ford? I think so. And who's this? Dotson. All right. And Keenan Allen. Oh, a Pickens. All right. Introductions. I like that card. It's probably our best pull so far. And we have a... Oh, this is the Burners. Burner Burners. Burners Burners. Keenan Allen. All right, kind of a cool looking card. All right, I mean, it's different. It's better than nothing, right? There you go, very nice. And this is probably our best pull so far. This is a cool card, George Pickens. No helmet, just screaming his head off. All right, we move forward. Three packs left, one blaster left. If you guys have stuck around this far, thank you so much, I appreciate it. 
These are definitely the hardest videos we have done. And I'm excited to never have to do them again until next year. We'll run it back. Davis Mills, drop a like on this video. It is completely free and it uh, helps out the channel a whole lot. Especially when we have to open Absolute. Lewis sign. Okay. Um, Pierre Strong. And Aaron Jones on the draft diamonds. I thought the kid reporter was something for a second. It's actually some color in here. I got excited and then I realized no, it's not anything. It's just a kid reporter. All right, we're going to try to fly through the base now a little bit. We've seen it. Let's get into the rookies here. Um, yep. And yep. Last call. Razu Douglas. All right. Interesting. And final pack of this blaster. And if you want my honest opinion, I don't think I don't think they got worse. I don't think they got worse, folks. I think they just stuck. Hey, at least they're on brand, right? They're like, hey, our brand is we make the worst. Brees Hall, all right? We make the worst. Who is this? Jalen Petrie. We make the worst football cards. That is our brand. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that was a blaster. And we had... Um, yeah, we had we had these cards. That's that's what we have to show for it. See ya. Final blaster. Here we go. Russell Wilson. Come on, man. Come on. Give me some of those Sierra vibes. Give me something here. Let's let's make let's make everyone think just for a little bit. Give us something to think about. No men. Hit us with that auto. This was by itself. We're opening this one first. We're not doing the we're not doing the double anymore. We're going single, single stack, but this one was by itself. So let's get rid of the base. Here we go. We're starting off with a Sky Moore. Kellen Gordon. Kyle Hamilton, all right. He's solid. And Kadarius Tony, not solid. He kind of just ruined his uh I think he ruined his his NFL career. He should have just not said anything. Don't say you're not injured. They were trying to help you out. Five packs left. I'm doing everything I can to stay alive here, folks. This had a lot. No men. It would be something special if we just ended up getting no men. No auto. Trent McDuffie. Jeez. I, I'm I'm having a hard time. Carson Strong. Matt Corral. 2022 was uh, a little weak on the rookies? Or is that just how it normally always is? It is once once the rookies kind of play out and you know who's who. You realize there's not... Oh, Zamir White. I like this guy. This guy runs hard. Uh, we got White. We got Brian Cook. And... Zonovan Knight. Okay. I like Zamir White, though. I don't know what the Raiders are going to do with Josh Jacobs. I personally think this guy should just be the starting running back. And get some money for Jacobs. Maybe get a little help around the offensive line. It's the offseason, baby. Everyone gets to talk about what their team should do. And if Kelsey is a... Uh, there's a Drake London. Kelsey's going back to the Raiderettes next year. I want a team... There's a George Pickens. I want a team I can root for. I got excited for a second because it was the Texans, but it's Brandon Cooks. Hey, Traylon Burks. That's these introduction cards. I gotta say, I like these more. I like the introduction cards more in 2022 than 2023. But I like the by storm more in 2023 than I do in 2022. All right, moving on. Here we go. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Snoop. That's a sick name. And a last call, Debo. No, Brandon Ayuk. Last call, Brandon Ayuk. And this is the last call because this is the final pack of Absolute, guys. I, you're you're going to have to beg me to open up more Absolute product after this. I don't think we got an auto, and I don't think we're going to get a mem. And that is exactly how I wanted. That's exactly how I wanted this to end. Could not have ended better. Just no mem, no auto. We get some cool rookies here. Danny Gray. We're going to end it on a Micah Parsons stargazing. And that, my folks, is the video. Holy smokes. Holy smokes. Um, yeah, that's going to do it. That's going to be a wrap. I don't have to do this anymore. I'm excited about that. I'm excited that Kelsey will be in the next video ripping packs with me. I had to do this for her. I had to get rid of all this absolute so she can rip some more packs. I did it. Not for me. Not for you guys. For her. And hopefully you respect me for that. Uh, if you're still watching this, hashtag Tadpole Gang. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you all. That's going to wrap it up. That's going to be it. I have no more. No more words. I'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping those packs. <laughs>